one of those days I thought about recording you know I like kind of doing our usual talk on the way to the gym uh, but today just needed to be some quiet thought and just a good workout and uh, I figured I would recap things when I'm done with the session um, that's how it is sometimes as much as I enjoy doing these vlogs uh, training to me is is really more mental than it is physical um, and that's that's why I got in the gym and that's what it's really what uh, has kept me coming back to training and wanting to learn more about training and, and uh, you know studying it more so I'm like well I'm gonna be spending all this time training anyway so I might as well figure out how to how to kind of do things the right way uh, you know that was it's really my mindset that has gotten me to this point um, you know as then things become more fun you see progress and all that but it's it's again it's really the mental the mental clarity that comes from just a good hard session in the gym it's nothing like it so some days man there's not a whole lot of words up up here for me upstairs for me in in uh, in the brain and it's just okay this is the workout execute focus and uh, yeah man that's, that's all it is what I don't even listen to a whole lot of music I think I did like I don't know I'm weird man sometimes I'll put on like like a score of a movie like a what do they call that yeah it's a movie score right so just kind of like that cinematic music that's what that way there's not a whole bunch of words that guys are saying sometimes that gets me going you know like you know obviously there's some songs with some passion put into them but sometimes I just need I don't, I don't want to hear anything I don't want to say anything I just want to work um, you know just put your head down and work so yeah but it was a great session uh, started I the only thing I didn't film was the very beginning, the very end. I started with my rotator cuff warm up, which uh, I filmed before. That's my Y, I, and W raises. Uh, and then from there, I went straight into the Incline Smith machine press. Um, they don't have a like a plate loaded machine. That would have been kind of nice. I like when you're when you're doing, especially on incline, when you're doing a press and the machine, the path of the handles kind of comes together a little bit I feel like you can get a better squeeze uh, than just having your hands in a fixed position on a Smith machine but 
did my best to keep my chest elevated and uh, just control the movement with my upper chest. Uh, so that was a good way to start it. And then I did a superset between the, the flat dumbbell fly and I was going to do push-ups, a variation of a push-up as the second half of the superset, but I had the dumbbells right there and I was like, I don't want to give myself, I don't want to give myself that rest and, you know, take, what is it, maybe 10 seconds of time, but that's still enough where I lose, uh, you know, a lot of the tension in my chest and I feel like I'm almost doing just a second separate movement. So I was like, how can I put these together so I can hit a press right after my fly? So I was like, ah, oh, you know, I'll just um, do the press with the dumbbells held together so that really taxing especially after doing a fly where that motion of your of the fly is to bring you know bringing my my elbows toward the midline of my body um, but when you're doing a, a dumbbell press and, and you have that hold on them squeezing the dumbbells in it's it's kind of putting a similar it's forcing your chest to do a similar hold a similar contraction while you're pressing so definitely a great way to uh, exhaust yourself and pump some blood in there and then uh, finish with the triceps four sets on both movements and uh, I used to I used to get a ton of pain when I did any kind of over the head barbell or dumbbell so something like a you know over the head seated dumbbell extension or uh, you know any kind of barbell skull crusher that used to always always killed my elbows and then what happened well I took some time off from doing it for a while and that helped uh, and then what also helps is anytime I, I want to put that movement in my training because it's great you know you can go nice and heavy and really uh, really put a good stretch on your tricep and just you know crush them with some weight when you do a movement like that like the skull crusher uh, but what I do is I start on the cable and whether it's a, a rope extension, straight bar push down, uh, you know, even even cable kickbacks will help because you get. You, I didn't do them today, but those are great because you get some good peak contraction in the tricep at the top because it's it's one of the only exercises where your arms behind the center of your body. So as soon as you put your arm back here, that you can already feel this tension build up in your tricep. Uh, but yeah, even even if I'm doing those, anything on the cable, I've noticed a significant difference in the joint pain I get when I go to do the dumbbell second rather than starting cold and going into you know some heavy skull crushers. That usually ends up being uh, pain city for the elbow. So that was a good way to end it. And then the last thing which I didn't film was uh, 20 minutes on the stairs. So that's second half of my cardio for today just put the stairs on 12 got my heart rate up there up past for sure past 70 percent i didn't wear it. i have a watch i don't always wear it because uh, i kind of know what it's uh where my heart rate needs to be or what you know 70 to 80 percent of my max feels like uh and a lot of times my my watch is dead because you gotta feel like those watches last like two weeks max which is pretty long, but ah, still, you, know, you gotta get the charger. And it's, it's sometimes the little things, man. The little things do make a difference. So I should, I should stick to my own advice. But um, the, the mission is to get my heart rate up, and I was doing that regardless. So I'll let myself slack on the dead Garmin watch. Um, but yeah, man, just a good, good focus session. I hope the uh, the recap sheds a little a little light on the training at least, and uh, I know this wasn't the the usual flow. No talking before the session, no talking during. But man, that's is real, and I I needed I needed today just, uh, but I still wanted to film a little something. So you know, I, I said I'm bringing the vlogs Monday to Friday, so I had to keep my word. Uh, well, I will I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is uh, shoulder and bicep, so a good session at the gym for sure tomorrow. And uh, I don't know if I'll do anything different because it's you got the weekend coming up. I'm trying to think. One of these days, I had to get out 
or get you guys out with me on the uh, the R7, shoot some uh, some bike content. That's always fun. It mixes it up a little bit. Uh, but as you can see, it is spring in Ohio, which means a lot more of this, which is rain. So one of these sunny days, we'll get after it. Thank you guys for watching. I will uh, I will catch you tomorrow. I hope you're having a good day, good evening, good morning. What am I saying, man? I'm exhausted. I'm gonna get some food in me and get this get this vlog edited. Uh, that was a, a quiet chest day. What do I know? I'm just working.